Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to add images in the portal list view and the form view. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to add a searching feature in the portal site, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblands channel and go to the playlist under the playlist you can see your development label is here and you can see with the different topic wise with the real task cases and in case you need any support related odoo you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address source code also available in the github make sure you can follow this repository and we have some different social media pages make sure you can follow those pages to get the latest notification so let's back to our main topic like how we can add here dynamic images from the record set in the list view as well as in the form view here right and if you don't know how to develop a portal feature in uh, odoo right now we are using here version 15 community edition okay so how you can add menu the main menu here like students quotation cells or the right the total number of records after that how you can also maintain this list view how to implement the pagination how to sorting and searching feature you can implement how you can also implement the bread scrum right and same like here how to create a form view and in the form view how you can also implement the pagination plus the bread scrum feature the home page and all everything is covered previous sessions please check the playlist the portal development all right so today we will see how you can add how to change this default image to the dynamic image right so if you are going to here in the student profile in the list view sorry in the form view you can see each and every student having a some different images right so those images we have to display in the form view as well as in the list view here right so how can you display those images the dynamic images right so the first thing is we have to go to in this portal here we have to work in these two templates the first one is the form view all right so here in the form view you can see this image is by default available right so now we have to also do one thing let's say img src and after that like alt like let's say avatar and simple like we can use the bootstrap classes like rounded circle image fluid plus the style should be like the width we can add here like let's say 150 pixel okay and here we have to add the student image name so you can see here student underscore image is the field name student underscore image and simple we have to call like student dot right and you also know in the front end side it's not directly accessible student dot student underscore img right so for that we have to add here like attf attribute t dash attf dash src and simple we can use something like this to access the image right like this only now another thing is this student underscore img convert into best 64 called right so for that simple we have to do is like here like let's say the data then after image and simple we can call here like jpg file at the moment and semicolon after that like which code we are passing so we are passing base 64 code comma and then after we have to write down something like this this is the record set and this is the specific field name right so here let me add if condition for example if student image is not available then this image should be display okay td desk 
if student dot student underscore ing if it is there we can pass here then after t dash else right and simple we can paste under here so this is the thing here and simple we have to upgrade the module okay so for that like we can add here like minus u and the module name in case you don't know how to upgrade the module using the pycharm or how you can configure or do in pycharm please check editor level playlist i already explained everything okay so without any issue you can say it's done and once i will go refresh the screen and i will go to here in the first one this student is having a this image right so you can see here also let's say this one this one and the next should be this one right so here we we also implemented the pagination the next record and the previous record right so you can see like this it's display okay now we are trying to implement the same thing here in the list view so for that we have to just copy this one right and we can add here one more image or oh, let's say the photo like td class there is no class we don't need to implement here at the moment and simple we used here 150 right so simple we can use let's say 60 pixel right height and height also should be 60 pixel let me copy this style and let me implement same thing here also okay so once i will upgrade this module you can see the photo also display right so using like this way you can implement images in the portal side okay if you have any doubt related this topic please comment below and see you in next session and our next session would be how you can control your controller right this controller my students controller you can control by uh, specific privileges let's say logged in user can only access this controller or let's say end user visit your website so you don't want to access this url right so that is also possible so we will see this discussion in our next session